Hello, my wonderful spirit guides. Today I'm going to be reacting to Mother Monster Lady Gaga and her new song, Disease. Interesting being called Disease. I wonder what it's going to be about. Like when I think of it being called Disease, it's, it, I don't know, something about it is really interesting because my favorite song by Lady Gaga at the moment is probably, uh, I say at the moment, but like it really is one of my favorite songs by her is Replay. She talks a lot about mental health in that song amongst so many other songs, but I wonder if she's talking about a disease of some sort of mental health thing or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Obviously I haven't heard it yet, so I can't know, but I'm excited to get into it. There is no music video for it yet, or I don't know if there's going to be one. Kind of wish there was, but there isn't one, sadly. <laughs> I bet one will come out though, like in a week or so, and I'll be like, damn. Anyway, I'm just so excited to hear it. If you would like to see this video completely uncut, then please do go to Patreon. It really, 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 truly helps out the channel. And yeah, helps me keep making videos. You can see uncut content, you can see early access content and exclusive content like movie reactions and so on like that. But if you can't do that, don't worry. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Instagram. You'll see lots of different things over there that I post and yeah. <laughs> yeah. And also go follow my Fern Like The Plant channel. Subscribe to my Fern Like The Plant channel where I just pretty much do anything. I think I might try and make a video for it soon just talking about basically ranting and venting. <laughs> So yeah, I actually did a, big, a bit of a big old speech about it in my FK Twigs uh, reaction. So I'm like, you know, I'm not going to do the whole spiel again. <laughs> but but yeah, I, I was just talking about connecting and how I like to kind of let you all know where I'm at mentally and emotionally in my life. Um, alongside making these videos just to like kind of like tie it in, you know, so it just, it, it feels more, I feel more authentic being like that. I don't know. But anyway, um let's get into it disease oh my god i'm so excited to hear this and if you didn't know i am a little monster and i always have been since literally since i literally found the song disco well it's called love game but it was called disco stick on youtube in like 2008 or 7 or something before literally before just dance came out and i remember being like what is this song like it's so cool yeah then suddenly just dance comes out i didn't put two and two together until i got the album the fame and heard that song again and was like hang on i feel like i've heard this song before which was crazy but yeah <laughs> so i'm i'm definitely a huge little monster actually one of the first biggest concerts i went to was lady gaga when i was 17 and my goodness i cried my eyes out when she came out on the stage of the, it was like the bournemouth way tour ball born this way ball i can't remember what it was called but anyway she came out and you, i just heard her go run run with the run run with the and that was enough and like i just like dropped to my knees everyone was surging forward and i dropped to my knees with tears rolling down my face and just couldn't believe that i was seeing her live like it actually felt like oh it was a dream come true for real Oh, it was so good. That entrance and run, run with her top down, baby. She flies all the flashing lights. And she's like on this horse or something. Or like she's like this, you know, she was gargaring. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know why I'm going on about that. It's just, I was thinking about it the other day and I was getting emotional thinking about it, about how actually incredible that was and how it just felt like everything just felt like it, it came together when I got to see her. It was all I ever wanted for years, this desperation to see her live, this real need. And I, then when I finally got to it, just was everything. It was everything. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> again, why am I going on about that? I'm just letting you know I'm a massive Gaga fan, all right? <laughs> Let's listen to the song now. I have no idea what this is going to sound like, because obviously I just heard her... Harlequin album and obviously that's a totally different vibe um obviously she does so much jazz and stuff and show songs but it's a different vibe to her usual album so is this going to be more like her usual albums but uh, just listen to it Fern and find out right starting now let's go okay What? There are no more tears to cry. 
Okay. Pop. I really love that. It's so powerful. Bring me your desire, I can kill your disease. If you were a sinner, I could make you believe. Those reverse reverb vocals. <laughs> Fucking cool. Oh my god, that's so powerful. Wow, that is like... I get so teary when I get so excited like that. It's like an ex I can't help but feel like so much emotion. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Wow. I, I, I just don't know what to say. Like, okay, it was, it was totally giving me art pop. You know, like the musical sound of it was certainly giving me art pop era. It was also reminding me of Kim Petras with uh, Turn Out The Lights sort of stuff. You know, her Halloween-y stuff, um, Kim Petras. It was reminding me of that a little bit. But it was but with Gaga's vocals and Gaga's way of doing things and her songwriting. It's just like, it's emotional because it's like, she just has such a way of doing it. And it's so unique to her and it's personal. But then the sound is so fresh and new and evolved. Like she's really hitting us with like, a, you know, the times and matching it because she hasn't always done that you know she hasn't always matched with the times and that's totally fine because I've, I've loved them all anyway this feels like it matches the times but also carries like I said the art pop feeling and like her ways of doing things is just so her and it's spooky too so it really I'm really glad it came out in October because it has like a haunting spooky October feeling with those reverse vocals with the reverb the beat is fantastic her vocals the the growl like the thickness of that growl and like the the uh, I don't know what how that goes like but it's so it takes you to another place really it, it's beautiful and fantastic I I I am I am blown away actually I am blown away all right, let's look into the lyrics. Oh yeah, the other thing I just want to say, it reminded me of Manicure from uh, Art Pop. Not like the, the song didn't remind me of Manicure, as in like the music, but the words of like, she's singing in this one, I Can Cure Your Disease. And then in Manicure, she's like, I don't need a manicure, you don't need no manicure, the, the, the manicure, I want to be man-cured. Yeah, I want to be man-cured, which I love, like manicure, but man-cure. Like, I don't know, it just made me think of it. And also she's got another song. Wasn't there another one, like, that was like around the time of Star is Born called, like, Cure 
something. What was that again? I remember it being, that one being really different. The Cure. Yeah. Yeah, that was really different for Gaga. Not my favourite, but I didn't hate it. It just wasn't my favourite. But yeah, she, she's talking about cures again. So anyway, there are no more tears to cry. I heard you begging for life. Running out of medicine, you're worse than you've ever been. Screaming for me, baby, like you're going to die. Poison on the inside. I could be your antidote tonight. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Don't know what the disease might be, but maybe the disease is this person just really, really wanting her. And she's also saying, you're screaming for me like you're going to die. So this person really needs her. She says, I could play the doctor. I can cure your disease. If you were a sinner, I would make, I could make you believe. Lay you down like one, two, three, eyes roll back in ecstasy. I can smell your sickness. I can cure your, cure your disease. You know, there is like a sexual element to it as well. Eyes roll back in ecstasy. Lay you down. You know, it's, there's something a little bit saucy and sexual about it too. Um, maybe she's saying, through my love, I can cure you of your disease, your ailments, any pain that you feel, I can take it all away just for this moment, which is kind of cool, actually. You're so tortured when you sleep, plagued with, with all your memories. You reach out and no one's there, like a god without a prayer. Yeah, that's sad. Like, you're tortured when you sleep, plagued with all your memories. And there's no one there. I can cure you of your loneliness too, you know? And it, maybe she's just saying it through the song. It doesn't even have to be physically there. Like, I can just, through my music, I can lay you down. I can make your eyes roll back in ecstasy. I will be there for you within the music. She says, bring me your desire. I can cure your disease. If you were a sinner, I could make you believe. Yeah, she does all that. That bit was so beautiful when she softened her voice and it had like this sort of musical aspect with the interesting spooky bits too. But like, it really was quite pretty. Yeah, cure your disease. Interesting. I wonder who she's talking about or if it is just a fun sort of song where she's talking to anyone. It could be anyone she's talking to, you know? Oh my God, I need that to be a music video. There's a teaser, but I need a music video, guys. I need a music video. This I need, I need one because Gaga music videos are always so good. Oh my God, I desperately want to hear it again. I just want to like hear it again, pick up on more. And I know that once I do that, I'll, I'll hear more when I've stopped reacting. And I'll be like, oh, I didn't pick up. I didn't talk about that bit or that element. But that's okay. It's just my first reaction. When the album comes out, I'm sure I'll hear it again for you guys. Oh my God, that was amazing. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of the song. I am, I, I am so happy with it. Like I'm really happy with it. And I wonder if the whole like, new album if it you know if it's gonna have this gothic not gothic this halloweeny spooky vibe or maybe she just it, maybe it's just this song i don't know i'm curious and excited and i just love this song so much so yeah all right yeah see you next time bye